chemistry that's worked together multiple times. And Schmidt gives up a shot off of the handle that lands in foul ter or fair territory down the right field line. Barrdale is going to chase it down. That's going to be three bags for Bo Bratton, and two runners are in for the Pioneers. Quickly, 2 nothing, off of Vinny Schmidt. Hits as a sophomore at Jones County Community College. Eckhout fields a ground ball from Woolard. That's going to bring Bratton home. Eckhout thought about throwing it to Asher for the, to cut down the run, but instead it's a 3 nothing ball game, and there's one down. So an RBI ground out by Luther Woolard. Churchette Jones, who actually wasn't even going to be start. There's a ground out. That'll get Doherty in. Almost thrown away by the shortstop. But another RBI ground out. After a very successful high school career. And he tanks a ball to deep right center field. Hits the scoreboard. But the scoreboard here at Duncan's in play. Now he's heading for third base. Relay throw is not even going to be made. Elder slides in head first to third base with a leadoff triple in the second inning. That ball was about as hard hit as we've seen at Duncan Field. Probably out at any other ballpark. And it's a unique one where the scoreboard's in play in right center field. And even if you hit it above the wall, it would still be playable by the outfielders. It's originally from Kirbyville, Texas. Grounder to second base is eaten up. And Garcia... Cannot make the play. An E4 defense struggling behind Chet Jones this afternoon. Two infield errors already. And the Sodbusters have made it a one-run ball game. 3-2. And he ropes a ball into right center field. Doherty giving chase. Is he going to get there? Yes, he is. Doherty took off off the bat. Made a running grab with his buddy Sean Barrowdale backing him up. And that is the second out in this inning, which will get Bo Bratton to the plate. Reached on an error and then struck out. And takes this ball to deep center field. That might get one run home. We'll see if Oblas wants to test the arm of Bates in center. He does. Throw his way off to the first base side. Oblas is going to get in there. And Elder is able to tag up as well as a no cutoff man is hit. It's a one run ball game. Sodbusters using the field. So right as I'm talking about their plate approaches some pretty good ones from the Sodbusters. Asher sends it up the middle and that is going to tie the ball game just right past the glove of Chet Jones and a diving Antonio Garcia. I'm telling you it was inches away from being caught and the Sodbusters have tied it with one out here in the sixth. RBI single by Brooks Asher. Set, takes a deep breath. Change up, fired in, but it's hit into the left field gap. Woolard is going to come around. He's being waved home from third base. Earps throwing home. Woolard slides in safely and takes out the leg of Brooks Asher. Woolard has scored the go-ahead run. Looked like he was maybe hurt on the slide. Slammed. His hand on the dirt after he slid across. But that is an RBI double. And that scores Luther Woolard all the way from first base on what was it? A changeup. 